Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. Wisdom is the final frontier in gaining true knowledge. Our mission is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. This is Gramps. Thanks for coming along on our journey to increase wisdom and create a living legacy. Today is day 1,548 of our trek, and it is time for our daily snippet of wisdom, which includes an inspirational quote along with some wise words from Gramps for today's trek. If you apply the words you hear today, over time, it will help you to become healthy, wealthy, and wise as you continue on your daily trek of life. So let's jump right in with today's nugget. Today's quote is from Hannah Whithall Smith, and it is, Nothing else but seeing God in everything can make us loving and patient with those who annoy us. When we realize that they are only the instruments for accomplishing His purpose in our lives, we will actually be able to thank them, inwardly at least, for the blessings they bring us. So today let's consider loving those who annoy us. Are there people in your life that tend to annoy you and rub you the wrong way? I know this has been true in my life at times. How should we deal with those people? We need to understand a couple fundamental truths. First and foremost, we must realize that every person is an imager of God. If we are also to image God, then we must practice God's attributes, which show love and patience to all persons, even if they are annoying, and they don't reciprocate the love and patience to us. I realize that fully imaging God requires that a person accept, through believing loyalty, God's salvation through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. But it is not up to us to make that determination. Just as God accepted us while we were still sinners, so we must accept others. The second truth that we need to grasp is that God may use those very persons who annoy us to refine and perfect us. We must show love and patience to all, those who are easy to love, and those who are not easy to love. Although we may not express it verbally to those who annoy us, we should internally thank them and God for their blessings, allowing us to show patience and love even when we may not feel like it. And our verses for today is 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5-8. through 8. In view of all this, make every effort to respond to God's promises. Supplement your faith with a generous provision of moral excellence, and moral excellence with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with patient endurance, and patient endurance with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love for everyone. The more you grow like this, the more productive and useful you will be in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. As you ponder this nugget of wisdom for yourself, I would ask you to please encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us on Monday for another day of Wisdom Trek creating a legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,547 treks or read the Wisdom Journal, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly... I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek Podcast and Journal each day. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain. Reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you on Monday for more Daily Wisdom.